in this video, I'm going to show you how I use just one natural ingredient to prepare this hair growth treatment. When chemicals damaged my hair and I had to grow my hair all over again, I was experiencing a whole lot of hair breakages, stunted growth. But now, after discovering natural ingredients and using them the right way, now my hair is flourishing. And guys, since I'm not greedy, I spill all the tea to the tea. And today is one of such videos. So make sure you're not skipping any part of it so you can learn how to make this amazing hair growth recipe. Let's get into it. Alright, so the natural ingredient I'm going to use today is my fresh avocados. And I went to the store to pick some ripe avocados. In this recipe, you will need the ripe ones. Before getting into the recipe, let me give a shout out to all my returning subscribers. Thank you for always coming back to watch my videos, giving them thumbs ups, and even sharing them. And if you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for clicking on this video. And I can promise you, you're going to learn a lot from today's video, especially if you really want to grow your hair much faster. Again, the natural ingredients we're going to use today is avocados. Avocados is really great when it comes to hair growth. It is going to stimulate new healthy hair growth by protecting your scalp and making your scalp really healthy. Also, it is going to improve the texture of your hair. Avocados, when added to your hair care routine, will make your hair really silky, soft, and easy to manage. If you're someone suffering from a lot of hair shedding, hair breakages, adding avocado, especially using this recipe in your hair care routine, it's going to help stop all these hair problems. Also, avocados contain amino acids as well as some vitamins. All these together is going to strengthen your hair strands, nourish your hair strands, and make your hair silky smooth. All right, so after chopping my avocados into little chunks like so, you can either use your fork or the blender to make it really mushy. Either way, it's fine. But I love to use my blender because I love to go the easy way. But before getting into all that, you know how we do it here. But if you're new here and you don't know how we do it here, we show a lot of love around this channel. So please show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell so each time I upload DIYs for hair growth like these, you will always be notified. I also upload vlogs on this channel, so it's always fun out here. So make sure to join us and do not forget to share this video with your friends and your families as well as on your social media platforms because you might not know who you'll be helping to grow their hair much faster. Alright, so I intended not to add any water to it, but it got stuck in the blender. That is why it's going to be much easier to use your fork. So I added a little bit of water later on to make blending much easier. Then after that, I am going to strain it to make sure to get just the creamy part of the avocado. You do not want the residue. The residue is going to be stuck in your hair and you're going to spend the rest of the year trying to get them out. So make sure you strain your avocados. One thing I like about the avocado hair max or this recipe is that it is very easy to prepare. It strengthens your hair strength and just after the first use, you're going to see difference in your hair. Your hair is going to be really soft and really silky smooth. You're just going to love your hair after trying it for the first time. Make sure you give this a try, especially if your hair is so hard to manage. After straining everything out, there are a few ingredients I'm going to add to this recipe to even make it work much better. So make sure you're not skipping any part of this video so you do not miss any important information. And also, it's one thing to know how to prepare this recipe and another to learn how to use it. If you do not know how to use this, you're just going to be wasting your time. And guess what? I'm going to show you the right way to use this recipe in order to get all the benefits out of it. Alright, so at this point, we have our creamy avocado. The next thing we're going to add is our conditioner. Feel free to use any conditioner of your choice. Today, I'm going to use the Tresemme because I just love what it does to my hair. It doesn't mean you should use the same conditioner. Just the conditioner you use every day on your hair is fine for this recipe. The main ingredient that we need is the avocado that is going to maximize the benefits of any conditioner, even the cheapest conditioner out in the market. 
So you can add this trick to any conditioner just to make sure it works great for your hair growth and also to treat your hair strengths. All right, so at this point, I'm just stirring in, making sure everything is all well mixed in. But if you haven't done so already, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell. So each time I upload DIYs for hair growth like these, you will always be notified. I also upload vlogs on this channel, so it's always fun out here. Make sure to join us and do not forget to share this video with your friends and families as well as on social media platforms. So at this time, I'm adding my aloe vera gel. You can use the fresh aloe vera gel if you have, or you can use the store-bought one like so. Aloe vera is also great when it comes to treating your scalp from dandruff and other scalp issues. It is also going to treat your hair strands to make it much stronger to resist it from breaking. At this point, you can add any oil of your choice, but I decided to prepare my own oil. I already had this oil handy because I was going to use it for my hot oil treatment. So I just prepared it and used some of it for my deep conditioning. So I added coconut oil, which you all know is really great for natural hair by strengthening your hair strands and also preventing dandruff. I also added some amla oil. Amla oil is great when it comes to hair growth. Amla oil contains vitamin E, which makes it a great conditioner. Adding amla oil in this recipe is going to leave your hair soft and shiny. So after adding these two oils together, I'm just going to give it a quick stir. Then I'm going to put in a pot of boiling water. Since I was going to use the remaining of the oil as my hot oil treatment, I decided to use the double boiler method to melt the oils together. You do not have to go through all these processes. Just feel free to use any oil of your choice. You can use avocado oil, sunflower oil. You can even use coconut oil by itself or olive oil. If you have amla oil, castor oil, or any oil of your choice, it is also going to be great for this recipe. So at this point, I added about three tablespoons of the oil I prepared to this recipe and I'm going to give it a very good stir till everything is mixed in well. Alright guys, so after you have your recipe like so, it is all ready to be used. You're going to use this as your deep conditioner. Avocado in this hair mask is going to lock in moisture in your hair and nourish your hair strength. Make sure to shampoo your hair before using this. You're going to use this as your conditioner. So after washing your hair, you're going to apply this in section and massage it into your hair strands. It's going to leave your hair really smooth and really soft and also prevent hair breakages. Cover your hair for 30 minutes and rinse it out with just water. Go ahead and moisturize your hair after each use. Apply this at least twice a month for faster results. Thank you for watching.